now that I have defeated the Capra demon, I can now continue my search for wherever the second bell is. Still can't believe you clutched that with no Estes. Well, the good news is the next area will probably stop the amount of damage his Drake sword can do. And we will soon get the item that will hopefully encourage him to swap out weapons. Who the hell is this person? And again, they are behind bars. What can't you tell? That's Jill, your wife, Sleepy Joe. Eat shit, Donald. At least my wife is a teacher and not plagiarizing Obama's husband's speeches. Joe, I will beat your old ass, but this is another vendor. She can sell some really useful stuff for the next two areas. Yes, yeah, she sells her moss. Don't you want to eat her moss, Joe? Donald, that is disgusting, but I bet it's still healthier than the amount of trans fats you're eating every day from McDonald's. I'm a busy man. Don't have time to cook meals, so I have the fine folks at the Golden Arches to whip me up a meal. Sure, Donald, I'm sure that's why you don't cook. I bet you've never cooked a meal in your life. Now, nah, Barry, I can make a mean bowl of Fruit Loops or a delicious PB and J. Holy shit, I can't even dignify that with a response. Why does this look so familiar? Just give it a minute here, Joe. I'm sure you'll understand why soon enough. Wait a second, what is that up ahead? Is that what I think it is? Is that a rat? No fucking way. I'm all the way back to Firelink Shrine. Once again, can we just appreciate the amazing level design in this game? I don't think they ever really topped the way everything is connected the same way they did in this game. I agree, even after all these years, I still remember the entire layout of this game. That's because of the amazing level design. Okay, looks like that dork I saved earlier is here. Let's talk to him. Oh, hello. I regret meeting you under such compromising circumstances. At least we both made it back unscathed. Did you see them? The three young clerics headed for the catacombs to seek kindling. Kindling is the art of feeding bonfires. The poor young girl sent down into a tomb. What a terrible mission she is burdened with. Three clerics? What is he yapping about? Why don't you go and find out? Oh, hello. My guests have finally arrived. I will be departing with them shortly. So, I'm afraid I will be saying goodbye soon. It was oh, a pleasure. Oh, look, Donald, you made some friends. Fuck you, Joe. I would never hang out with these three stooges. See, look, this one mumbles incoherently just like you do, Joe. Damn, he got you there, Joe. I do not. Just listen. America is a nation that can be defined in a single word. I was in the foot, him, uh, foot, foot, excuse me, the foothills of the Himalayas with Xi Jinping. Fuck you, Donald. Hmm? What have we here? You look awfully raggedy. Times are grim. The least you can do is look sharp. I look bad. Me, At least I'm not Obama when he tried to wear that ugly ass tan suit. Oh, come on. It was not that bad. I was just trying something different. No, Barry, it was that bad. You want to try something different? Try maybe a tie or something? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, my. Who is this lovely little lady? And look, you're not caged up. Jesus, Joe, this one isn't going to let you sniff either. Did I not explain the urgency of our tasks? Or are you so uncouth as to lack such judgment? By the looks of you, I should think not. Damn. Once again, Joe gets rejected by the young lady he's making. Feel uncomfortable. In other news, grass is green and the sky is blue. Both of you shut it. Trump, you wouldn't know consent if you grabbed it by the pussy. And Barry, you know nothing about ladies seeing how you are married to a man and made love to men in your head in college. Fuck, Fuck you, you, Joe. Joe. Damn, this place is filled with enemies. But look, seems like some sort of NPC. Wonder what they sell. Well, let's just say once you clear out this area, you get to find out. Don't worry, sir. Once I save you from these wild dogs, we can exchange in commerce. Oh, what the fuck? He's attacking me. Actually, she is attacking you. Wait, what? Yeah, it's a she. Kind of reminds me of your wife, Barry. I mean, look at that muscular ass back right there. Donald, I have a drone, a Hellfire missile, and both Trump Tower and Mar-a-Lago's coordinates pre-saved. Just try me. Well, whatever pronouns and gender they identify with, they are about to die. 
Now their pronouns are was slash were. Oh, a large ember? Is it like that divine ember I got earlier? Yeah, we can give that to Andre to allow us to upgrade weapons to plus 10. Just like my wife, a plus 10. Donald, your wife looks like if an alien stole a woman's skin, tried to wear it, and blend in with other humans. Bullshit. We all know you would slide in her DMs if you had the chance. Okay, yeah, you got me. I'd totally smash. You. Yes, you. Here, open it. Please, you must help me. What the hell? How on earth did you get stuck in a barrel? I believe it was the butcher from a minute ago. Still, I think that's more embarrassing than the dork who got locked in a closet by dogs. I would have been in supper without you. Been eaten alive. I started to think. Thank you. Thank you dearly. I am Laurentius. Or the Great Swamp. I will not forget my death to you. Great Swamp? Is that the place Donald was talking about? When you were all about draining the swamp? Jesus, Joe, no. The Great Swamp is where most pyromancers in this world come from. This guy can be your first pyromancy vendor. Well, I don't have much intelligence on this build for that. Well, that's the great thing about pyromancy. You don't need any intelligence or faith for it, since it doesn't scale with any stats. Just need to have enough attunement slots to carry the spells, and you can use it. Great for almost any build. Oh, look, she gave me a sack. I kind of want to wear it. I think you should. It would hide that old, disgusting, wrinkly skin of yours. Well, the helmet is already hiding my character's face. Oh, I'm not talking about the game. I mean your actual face. Fuck off, Donald. I bet you put a bag over your head, too. Except it's full of freshly peeled oranges, so you get that orange glow. You fat orange bastard. Think I'd rather be orange than be that see-through white you are. Holy shit, this sewer is like a giant ass maze, dude. I've been down here for hours and I'm lost. This place with its drops and similar looking areas can be very confusing. Heck, I still get turned around even after all these years. Yeah, and the bonfire placement make the runs through here feel like a chore. What, I've been invaded? What's that? Invasions are like the exact opposite of summoning. Yeah, instead of asking players or NPCs to help you, they instead come into your world to kill you. That's bullshit. As if the game isn't hard enough, you can have other people come in and fuck up your day too. Ah, shit, here he is. But he's a bitch to the backstab too. Just be careful, Joe. His armor is covered in thorns, so even his movements like a roll can cause damage. Like that mattered. Get fucked, Kirk. Jesus, he did like one thing and dies like a bitch. Your luck in this game is insane. Oh, finally a door. Must be progress. But wait, is this an actual NPC down here? He's also a vendor too. Sells really cool items like boss armor later on. He also sells some gold pine resin. Can be very useful for the boss coming up. Hmm, might need to grab some then. Only issue is you need to use it on another weapon. Can't add it to the Drake sword. What the fuck, it's locked. Yeah, we're gonna have to beat the boss of this area. He has the key. Well, let's go kick its ass then. Look, a summon sign. Must be the boss up ahead. And another one, and it's low trek. That's the other reward for freeing him. He can be summoned for this boss fight. I guess I had this low trek guy all wrong. I guess he is a bro like Solaire. Sure, Joe. That seems like the correct conclusion. Just need to summon my son, bro, and we are off to the fight. Oh, that's the boss? It's a cute little alligator. Um, I don't think so, Joe. Look. What the hell? Oh my god! That's horrifying! Yeah, I'm not sure that's an alligator, Joe. Yeah, you're probably right. Maybe it's a crocodile. No, Joe, it's the gaping dragon. A dragon that was locked down here for so long and got so hungry, its stomach grew a mouth. That doesn't make any sense, biologically speaking. No time for dragon anatomy. Focus up, Joe. Um, where the fuck are my summons? 
Don't worry about that right now, Joe. Try switching to a new weapon and apply the gold pine resin to it. With it being a dragon, it will be weak to lightning-based attacks. Okay, okay, let me try that. Also looks like your guys got stuck at the top of the stairs. So looks like it's just you. And one downside to summoning people is it will increase the amount of health a boss has. So you are at a massive handicap right now. Doesn't matter, I got this, boys. Oh my God, for a giant ass dragon. He is impossible to hit right now. Well, if you don't lock on, that will make it harder. Fucking hell. Now I gotta run all the way back here. Oh my god, I'm poisoned, almost dead, and lost. This run back sucks, and fuck, I just used my resin instead of my flask. Yeah, I forgot about the shortcut. I'll have to show you later. Oh my god, get out of the fucking way. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Now I'm cursed. What is that? Oh, that sucks, because DS1 has the worst curse system, too. Yeah, because in all the Souls games, curse is an instant kill. But in DS1, it also halves your health and will stay that way until you get a purging stone. You have got to be kidding me. Time for a quick detour. Jesus, I can't believe this shit. That sucked. Just be glad you got cursed after the patch, because originally, curse used to stack. So if you got cursed enough, you would be down to one HP. Yeah, I heard that's what killed Bill Clinton's first playthrough. I have no clue if he ever picked the game back up. OK, Joe, you'll see a drop where the butcher used to be. Take that. Go down to the waterfall. Hang to the far left, and boom, you'll be right back to the boss. Oh, that's super convenient. OK, round two. And this time, my boy should be with me. Little pro tip, but his head is his weakest point, so try going for that. What the fucking shit? Whoops, my bad there, Joe. I hate you, Barry. Man without the gold pine, this is taking forever. And now Solaire is gone, so it's just you and Lawtrick now. No, Solaire, damn it. It's okay, I can still do this. Looks like Lawtrick is gone too now. Damn it, and I'm not even to half health yet. Oh, wow, I cut off his tail and it dropped a weapon. Yeah, some bosses will drop a weapon if you cut off their tail. Unfortunately, we missed one with the gargoyles, but we will get another chance for it later. OK, I got him now. Just a few more hits. Just don't get greedy here, Joe. Now, nah, fuck this. I've been whacking at him for 20 minutes. He dies here and now. Oh, my fucking. Damn. Damn. Fucking hell, have I ever beat this boss? I'm never using the Drake sword after this. I think this is proper punishment for the blasting through everything up until this point. See, it's like I said, the Drake sword's usefulness stops once you get to about Blight Town. And since we got the large ember, we can replace it with something better. Let's fucking go. Die, you stupid dragon. Oh, thank God, you did it. I'll be honest. I for sure thought Joe would rage quit the game and give up. What did I tell you? Never bet against the Biden Nator. Well, with the gaping dragon defeated, you now have the key to Blight Town. I think we should go upgrade a new weapon, then head that way. Um, yeah. But first, we have been at this for hours, so my diaper is full. I need to change it first. Be right back. Joe, that is fucking disgusting. OK, Joe, you got an upgraded halberd now. What made you go with the halberd? Oh, it just looked different than the sword and had more range. So many different weapons in this game, it's hard to settle on just one. Well, don't be afraid to experiment with different weapons, Joe. There's always a right tool for the right job. I think the halberd is pretty good for this section. A lot of enemies you don't want to get too close to down here.
Oh, geez, look at that guy. I think I saw him at the Capitol on January 6th. Shut up, Joe. Be glad this guy wasn't there, because he will wreck you if you're not careful. Damn, he builds up a lot of poison on me. Oh, but he dropped something. Um, what the hell is a dung pie? It's exactly what you think it is, Joe. It's shit. Well, that's gross. Joe, you literally just had to leave because you shit your pants. You would probably fit in well down here. Shut up, Obama. This place looks what Yemen did after you drones striked it 100,000 times. Actually, it looks like how it did in Afghanistan when you just up and left it. Hey, man, I sent out a tweet. They got a heads up. Heads up? That's what all those people in Yemen did when they saw the drones flying over. Fuck both of you. Man, this place is just as confusing as the sewers, but I see an item over there. Yeah, but that requires a really well-placed run and jump to get it from here. I don't think you're ready for that yet. Now, nah, Barry, I think I can get it. Watch this shit. Let's fucking go. I cannot believe your luck in this game, Joe. It's stupid. After that bullshit with the gaping dragon, I think I deserve this. Okay, now that I got this sick-ass ninja mask, I'm feeling pretty good. Oh, and look, got some enemies climbing this ladder. Wait a second, is that guy using a corpse as a weapon? Yeah, it's kind of like what Kamala and your administration are having to do with you, carrying your corpse around. At least I could actually be carried, unlike your 400-pound overweight ass. Maybe you should be carried. Then you wouldn't have to worry about tripping and falling all the time. Fuck off, lard ass, but what the shit is this gross thing? All you need to know is he will drop a really good pyromancy if you kill him. Okay, got it. Holy shit, he does a shit ton of damage. Just be careful, Joe. Fuck that. I'm going back to old reliable. Now you're thinking sleepy, Joe? Work smarter, not harder. Jesus Christ, the bow method again? Boom, eat it. Well, that was boring as hell, but whatever, go get your reward, I guess. Everyone cheeses bosses and enemies at some point, Barry. Quit being a hater. I guess so, but still feels a little cheap, don't you think? Who cares? Now what do I get? Power within, what does that do? Power within greatly increases your damage, but will slowly take away your health as long as it's active. So it can be very useful in some situations, like in a DPS race. Definitely one of those that are. Better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Well, in that case, it was totally worth it then. Fuck, I can't hit this stupid bug? This looks to be one of the drawbacks for the halberd. It has no vertical attack. May need to swap weapons here. No, I got this little shit. I think you should really switch to something else. Shut up, Barry, it's fine. Oh, what in the damn shit? No, I gotta go all the way back here. Yeah, color me surprised. But Barry, you're already colored. Holy shit, Joe! Donald, you are too. Just orange. That's not what. Never mind, I can't take this conversation. Jesus, look at this ugly-ass thing. Come on, Joe, don't talk about Jill that way. Fuck you, Donald. This is probably where you got the meat for those nasty-ass Trump steaks. Trump steaks are the best steaks. Nobody does steak like me. Nobody. Nah, Donnie. I don't think Michelle would even let those be served at school lunches. Your words hurt sometimes, Barry. Thank God I finally found a bonfire. I don't think I can handle coming down here a second time. This was definitely a huge relief to see for just about everyone's first playthrough. If people even made it this far, George told me his brother Jeb got stuck down here with no purple moss, and Rage quit the game. I believe it. If people who barely didn't Rage quit after the Capra Demon, they probably did once they got to Blight Town. Yeah, this place has lived up to its name, that's for sure. Ah, shit, another invasion? Maneater Mildred? Okay, this is an invasion that's actually a good thing. Make sure you beat her. Okay, there she is. Fuck off, Bugs. I don't need you distracting me. Oh my goodness, she's barely wearing any clothes and a bag over her head. Must be a Butterface. 
Shut up, Donald. You have always insulted women on their looks. Only if they deserve it, like Rosie O'Donnell. If she wasn't gay, I would have sworn there was some sexual tension between you two. Bye-bye, Mildred. Awesome, that should come back to help us here in a few minutes. Oh shit, they are throwing rocks at me. What's wrong, Joe? Thought throwing rocks was okay at those. Mostly peaceful protests. Fuck off, Donald, and that happened under your presidency. Both of you hush up. Joe the boss is up ahead, get ready. Quill Log's domain? This is all covered in spider webs. Oh yay, another summon sign. Oh, would you look at that? It's man-eater Mildred again. That's why we wanted her to invade us. If we win, then she will be summonable for this fight. Well, Mildred, you were pretty weak as an invader, so let's see if you were a better summon. Some help is better than no help, I say. Oh, you know what? Let me put on my sack as well. Together, Mildred and I will be the sack-wearing duo. sack Tastrophe. That was terrible, Joe. I should know about tag team names. I'm in the WWE Hall of Fame. Yeah, and you are also in the Hall of Fame for worst sell of the Stone Cold Stunner. Not now, cutscene. Oh my goodness, look at that disgusting giant spider. Just wait for it, Joe. What are you talking about? Oh gosh, golly gosh, who knew spiders could be so freaking hot? Gotta make sure Jill doesn't come in during this boss fight. Man, Joe, kinda weird that you like this. Nah, I'm with Joe on this. I would definitely smash. But this is Quaylog. Beat her and the next bell is yours to ring. Okay, come on, Mildred, we can do this. This is probably her attack to look out for the most. These puddles of lava can trap you with her and do a lot of damage if you're not careful. Best to let Mildred draw most of the aggro on this fight. Yeah, let Mildred take the hits and try to get behind her to deal damage. Most of her attacks come from the front. Ah, uh, damn it, I'm stuck inside her. Ah, uh, fuck me. Oh, shoot, almost got me again with that. Good job, Joe. Keep this up and she's as good as finished. I got it, Barry. I'm not having a repeat of the gaping dragon again. Luckily, with the halberd, you don't have to get as close as you would have to with the Drake Sword. Keeping your distance so you can see and react to her AOE attack is the most important part of this fight. Thank goodness for Mildred, taking most of the hits for me. This would be a lot harder without her. Kind of like you and Kamala in real life. She does most of the work while you just take credit for it. Shut up, Donald. That's not true. I mean, it kind of is Joe. I mean, who's running the country while you're off playing video games with us? Who fucking cares? Because I just beat Quellag. Let's go. Congratulations, Joe. You beat the second Bell Guardian. And only with two attempts, that's pretty good. And it's all thanks to my tag team partner. Thank you, Mildred. I'll be sure to keep Sacktastrophe memorialized in the White House to remember you by. Um, yeah. Probably shouldn't do that. And there it is, the second Bell. Time to give it a ring. Oh, I know that place. It's where that onion knight was hanging out. His name is Siegmeier, and you're right. With both bells rung, it has raised the gates to the next location. Now you know where you need to go to next. But once again, congrats, Joe. You have rung both bells of awakening, 
and are now one step closer to completing your quest. It feels like we are just getting started. AI President Barack Obama here. Thanks for joining us in part four of AI President's play, Dark Souls. Your support keeps this virtual adventure alive. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment how you think Joe is doing so far, and ring the bell. Your engagement means the world to us. Until next time, this is AI President Barack Obama wishing you all a wonderful day. Take care and see you in the next episode.